Hello everyone, I'm Richard Orline, and today I'm going to tell you about GimKit, a great review game website. This site is perfect for entertaining students while reviewing topics. With GimKit, you can make a question set that will appear in games your students can play. Let's go over how to make a set. First, click on New Kit, type in a memorable name for your set, go with Fahrenheit 451 Review, Language, English, Subject, as you can see there are a lot of subjects here, but English Language Arts is the best fit for us. And now you get to pick out a picture. Let's just search fire here since I think that's the most fitting. And this one looks good. Now that we have our kit, we need questions to put in it. Let's start with a simple added question. Why is the title 451 Fahrenheit degrees? Now, the correct answer is that paper burns at 451 degrees. And now we get to create our incorrect answers. I really like this part. So trick, quick, trick answer number one, flame, flame throwers launch fire at 451 degrees. People burn at 451 degrees. Or it was the author's favorite number. Now add question and woo! It's just that simple. Now a question set with only one question isn't that good but I can't think of many more questions. So let's go to the question bank and see what other people have added. Mm, not really liking those questions. This one is good. It's a mix of the book and vocabulary. Yeah. I think I will take these questions and just add them all to my set. Finally though, there is one more question that I think needs to be added. So let's go over to the text input section. Who wrote Fahrenheit 451? If I could type, this would be better. The answer is obviously Ray Bradbury. And now we just click All Done, and it is saved. There are lots of review games out there. Kahoot comes to mind for me almost instantly. However, I think GimKit is better due to the number of different games. The multiple choice speed game type Kahoot has gets tiring after a while. With GimKit though, as you can see, there are a lot of styles of games to choose from. And these games are what make GimKit so good. To demonstrate, I played the classic game mode here with my family. With most review games, the subject matter is the only thing students are taught. With GimKit though, these games all have secondary concepts being subtly enforced. For example, the classic game mode is not just a speed answering game. 
Instead, it has an element of resource management and optimization in it. As you can see, there are upgrades students can get to earn money faster. However, these upgrades also cost money, taking away your balance. These upgrades give more money in the long term though, so students have to balance short term and long term success. In addition, answering a question wrong costs money, so accuracy is just as important if not more so than speed. I am showing this game from a student's perspective. The teacher's screen, meanwhile, has a scoreboard showing where the top five students are placed. After the game, the teacher can see how many times a question was answered correctly or incorrectly by the class, allowing the teacher to understand what the students may not know. And while these games are a lot of fun, they can be a bit complicated or overwhelming to younger students. I would advise letting students play a practice game or two to learn the controls and concepts before starting the review in earnest. Finally, GimKit has both a free version and paid version. The paid version removes a five player limit on all games, while the free version only has three games at a time without this limit. In addition, the paid version lets you assign kits as homework. The paid version is $4.99 per month. And that's all I have to say on GimKit. If you would like to learn more, I recommend just trying the site out for yourself. Thank you.